hello from slider and hello from weaves in the last video i was talking about the layout inflator in android where i discussed the basic stuff about how the inflator works here i'm gonna go here to the more advanced stuff that we see so if you have not seen the last video please go ahead check it out because that is the video which builds the base for talking about the layout inflator so here again let me discuss the sample scenario we had our text view which is inside a sub layout dot xml file which i want to inflate then it looks like this you have the sub layout dot xml text view inside then i have the activity underscore main which contains nothing but a frame layout with an yellow background and a linear layout with a blue background i have again represented those colors over here frame layout with yellow background linear layout with a blue background and obviously my text view has a pink background like right? magenta whatever you call it so this is the second form of the constructor inflate or the method or sorry the method inflate so let me discuss so if you guys remember the last time we did not specify any parent we simply said null right and then what we did manually get the frame layout or the linear layout in code and then say dot add view right and that is what we did here we go one step ahead and we automatically specify a parent by saying r dot layout dot sub layout comma linear take a look at that this linear which you see over here is going to be the parent of the text view which is inside your r dot layout dot sub layout and one more thing this time v does not contain the text view v contains a reference to this linear which is specified over here so what does v contain it contains the linear layout who is the parent of the linear layout the frame layout right and what about the layout params the layout params are inherited from this frame layout which you see over here so how does it look frame layout linear layout text view remember this time you don't have to manually add the text view to the linear layout by saying l dot add view all right it is done right here in the first step where you specified that the linear layout should be the parent of this r dot layout dot sub layout which contains the text view and here you can see it so how does the appearance look like it looks the same basically there's no difference at all you won't be able to tell anything automatically added to the linear layout so don't call add view here you just went one step ahead and simply added it automatically now there's one more thing i need to tell you it is this it is also the same as saying r l dot inflate r dot layout dot sub layout specify a parent linear and saying true now what does this true mean there's a third parameter called boolean attached to root which is the biggest source of confusion no matter if you're a beginner or the most advanced android developer out there this is probably the biggest source of confusion which people are searching on developer.android.com so now i'm going to discuss about this most ultimate uh, method which you have which has three parameters all right so here you specify saying view v is l dot inflate you specify the layout file that you want to inflate you specify the parent which is your linear and you specify something as true now what does this true mean well true means something like this true is a third parameter called attached to root which means r dot layout dot sub layout should be inflated which contains your text view right and it should be a part of your parent which is your linear layout now this is the default behavior which i showed you in the last slide as well but then you ask me what is false then don't worry i will show you what happens when you put false over there for now is the same thing now v contains just the same thing right linear layout this time v contains because you have already specified a parent over here what is who's the parent of the linear layout it's the frame layout what about the appearance where is it derived from it's also derived from this parent which is frame layout right that's what your layout params contains how does it look very simple frame layout you have the linear layout you have the text view inside the linear layout and remember this two steps of merging the text view and the linear layout you did it right here you don't need to add anything all right so again how does it look well it just looks the same way it did and here you automatically added to the linear layout so don't call add view now the biggest question that you have at this point is hey what happens if i put a false over here and that is the biggest one we are gonna talk about this now if you've been watching everything about the layout inflator till this point then go ahead give yourself a big pat on your back because this is going to be the most complicated part of the layout inflator and also the last thing that i want to discuss about the layout inflator so are you guys ready for this all right so let's go and discuss 
what we already discussed about it we had the inflate method in two forms right both of them gave a reference to this linear layout inside b right problem is we don't want a reference to the linear layout inside b we want a reference to the text view inside your r.layout.sublayout file so that we can directly manipulate it now what do i mean by directly manipulate it i want to directly call v.setText. I don't want a linear layout here then i will say linear layout dot find view by id text view and then i will try and manipulate the text view i don't want that i want a direct reference to the text view right second problem is something like this it's not a problem it's an issue this is this would be the completed hierarchy of the structure there will be a frame layout there will be a linear layout and your text view will be inside this linear layout you want to make sure that the text view obeys the constraints specified by this linear layout which is actually the parent after everything has been added right so if you remember the constraints are specified in the form of the layout params object so you want to make sure that this text view gets a reference to the layout params of this linear layout so that it can obey the constraints now what do i mean by that for example if you have a relative layout over here and you put a text view inside and let's say you want to align the text view to the right side of the relative layout what would you do if the text view will not align itself after you see align parent right you will be like hey dude come on man what the hell i want the red text view on the right side why isn't this thing working you will be saying like that right so you don't want that to happen you want the text view to obey the commands and constraints set by this linear layout for that we need a reference to the layout params object of the linear layout so we can control the appearance of the text view so these are the two very important points and these are the two issues that your the current uh, method solves all right so this is the final form of the method which is something like this l dot inflate r dot layout dot sub layout comma linear whereas which is the parent and you say false now what does this false do very simple the false means that r dot layout dot sub layout should be inflated but it should not give a reference to this linear layout inside b it should give us the reference to the text view remember the first issue that we discussed second this linear is passed here in the second place so that you can use its layout params object to control the appearance of this text view so now take a look what does v contain v contains a text view just like we needed parent of v the parent of v is null even though you have specified linear here remember since you set false over here this linear which is a second parameter is not used it is simply used to provide a reference to the layout params object over here which is derived from the linear layout and that is why you pass linear over here so at this point it's just the same as the first thing that you saw where the parent was null and there the layout params is also null but here the layout params is simply derived from this linear that you passed here as a second parameter and this is the most used method of the layout inflator because always you want a reference to the view directly like the text view and you never want a parent to come in between so you simply specify null but you also need the parent here so that you can get its layout params that's exactly what this method does so at this point v contains the text view all right it is not added yet because this is where your false method works it crosses the parent off and says hey you're not going to get added all right so at this point you need to go ahead manually add it just like you used to add it previously if you have seen the last video so it's blank at this point so i hope you guys have understood something about how the layout inflator works and all these methods now don't worry about this too much i will take an example of the list view and show you exactly what happens when your view does not obey the constraint specified by its parent and why this is the only method that you can use to inflate a custom row inside your list view all right so if you like what you saw please subscribe to my channel comment let me know your thoughts i would love to hear from you guys thanks for watching i'll catch you guys in the next vid have a nice day